We received the bill in Parliament that will highlight all those issues. However, it is true people have asked for early retirement. And uh, it is estimated about 5,000 teachers have already applied for early retirement. And those are the ones that are known. There is a, a big team that just leaves the school and go and do other things without notifying the government or the employer. That would be estimated around 10,000 maybe. And this causes the challenge to the whole sector of education and especially the Ministry of Education, uh, which uh, maybe in a few years we may find we don't have enough teachers. And remember there is a ban on, uh, on recruitment. And if you to recruit like in local government, the procedures are also long. So this uh, causes a very big challenge to the Ministry of Education and uh, the whole sector of education that uh, we may find the mismatch of students and teachers in schools. You find a P7 school has four teachers or five. What does that mean? That means those, t those students are not studying, those peoples are not learning. Uh, and this could have been caused by uh, salary disparities, especially science, between science and, t and arts teachers. Uh, most of them were demoralized, and uh, I suspect that could be one of the causes of why people are asking for early retirement. Uh, and that means if the trend continues like that, uh, the big challenge will be will, will, will rise really in the Ministry of Education. A country which is not uh, educated, then that means even the plans of middle class status and all of that, then will be affected badly. So we really need uh, to tight mark and watch what is happening in the education sector. It is not a simple thing. It is. Uh, it, is a, it will be a very big, big impact on our education and our children and, uh, and, and, and the whole process of, of doing things in this country. Uh, if it is true, which is true actually, 5,000 have applied officially, those are official applications. But more than 10,000, it shows that they have left actually schools. They no longer teach. You find a P7 school having five kids or f five teachers five teachers and five teachers cannot teach a p7 school only five teachers they will teach from p1 up to p7 so that that is a very big impact and to me i think this has been caused by the disparities in the salaries uh, you remember the government increased the salaries for science teachers and the, the fraction is huge. The gap is very big from an artist teacher, an art teacher and the, and, the, and, the, and the science teacher. When uh, yesterday, but one we were in parliament discussing on how to handle uh, medical students uh, for internship, the government cannot accommodate everyone. Hospitals cannot accommodate everyone. Allowances cannot be provided. Services cannot accommodate all of them. Yet, we are diverting all students from art studies to science. So this, this is uh, causing us a very big challenge. And if we are not careful, we need, I think, to go back on the drawing board and reorganize the education sector in terms of salaries, in terms of curriculum, in terms of, of, of career guidance of our children. Because if there is a mismatch, one group studies one thing and we cannot accommodate them. So we would have wasted a lot of time.